Jack Cafferty's here with the Cafferty file. Jack. With the diplomatic tensions rising, both the United States and Israel are trying to tamp down the flames. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton now insists that the two nations enjoy a close, unshakable bond. But when Israel announced it was going ahead with the building of more settlements over the objections of the United States, and when they chose to make that announcement while Vice President Joe Biden was visiting their country, Mrs. Clinton called Israel's actions insulting to the United States. And they clearly were. In a game of cover your whatever, the Israeli ambassador to the United States now denies making statements that relations between the two countries are in a crisis. But whatever state relations are in, it ain't good. Some are suggesting it's time for the United States to get tougher with Israel. One Middle East expert wonders if the flare-up between the two countries means the Obama administration might be seeking regime change in Israel. Want to really get tough and send a message? Start cutting back on the approximately $2.5 billion in aid that we give Israel every year. In today's New York Times, columnist Maureen Dowd quotes one Obama official as saying, that's not how you treat your best friend when describing Israel's recent construction announcement of 1,600 more homes in the disputed East Jerusalem. In her piece called Bibi's Tense Time Out, a reference to Bibi Netanyahu, Dowd writes the White House is, quote, appalled at Israel's self-absorption and its failure to notice that America is not only protecting Israel from Iran, fighting wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, but also dealing with a miasma of horrible problems at home, unquote. So here's the question. Is it time for the United States to get tougher with Israel? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file and post a comment on my blog. Jack is back with the Cafferty file. Jack. The question this hour, is it time for the United States to get tougher with Israel? Dana writes from Oregon, yes, Israel has insulted us and further inflamed the Palestinians. I don't understand what the Israelis hope to prove by any of this. Greg in Minneapolis writes, Israel needed our help to be able to stand on their own two feet when, we first, or when the country was first founded in 1948. But that time is long past, and they should either do as they're told if they're going to continue to receive foreign welfare from the United States or forego those funds and support themselves. Stephen Virginia says it's time for the U.S. to live up to the assumed role as an honest broker in the Middle East. Trust and equity must be two components of that role, and both must be applied and enforced equally to Israel. If we support Israel, we, do, we support Israel. It's not the other way around. Israel has to demonstrate that it wants peace for themselves as much as we want it for them. Mark in Oklahoma City, we ought to be helping Israel occupy as much Arab land as possible. Last time I checked, we weren't fighting Jews in the war on terror, we're fighting Muslims. As far as I'm concerned, they can occupy the entire Middle East. Michael in Florida says, maybe someone, anyone, can tell me why we continue to give Israel two and a half billion dollars a year. They don't have any oil. They won't let us put a huge military base in their country. What strategic value does supporting Israel have for U.S. interests? If the U.S. wants to get tough with Israel, we need to end all aid to that country and insist that they allow the formation of a Palestinian homeland. Lou says it would seem like this country would have some kind of leverage against Israel with the billions of dollars we give to it every year in foreign aid. And Carl writes, this should have been done many years ago. If you want to read more on the subject, go to my blog, cnn.com slash Cafferty File. You got a lot of email on this one, Jack? Yeah, quite a bit, Wolf. And most of it was anti-Israel, would you say? Uh, probably more, more anti than pro, yeah. Interesting. All right, this, Jack. This little stunt they pulled with Biden, uh, I think, got people's attention. I think country. you're right. I think they did. Uh, a lot of people were very, very upset about it. Yeah. Including, by the way, in Israel. Oh, and yeah. rightfully so. That's yeah. not how you treat a visitor to your right. country. What is that? Right. All right, Jack.